Good morning. I hope you're doing great. This is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. Antennas, like radios, you can never get enough of them or get the right one. You're always looking for a better antenna. And this morning when I was searching, inter- searching the internet for information about antennas, I found a website that is a horn of plenty as far as antenna information. It's just unbelievable. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So here we go. Here it is right here. This is a one of many, many, many web pages by AC6V, an amateur radio operator. And I've been using him as web pages for years. He's and he's also written a couple of books of which I um, I'm gonna order one because I as I was looking at his web pages I saw about his book and gonna order the book for a review. But anyway, this particular web page is about antennas. And when I said it was a horn of plenty as far as information, that was an understatement. Let's just take a gander here. And he's got some uh, links to jump to various parts of his webpage, this webpage, because it's so huge. It's just loaded with information about, excuse me, links, links about antennas. And he's got them broken down by, uh, even by bands. You know, if you want a particular antenna for a certain band, takes you right to that alphabetically and then you can do a search and here we go antenna the first section is antenna theory and basics and just look at all this information let's just let's just pick one here uh, here's one antenna height I'm gonna click on that and see where it takes me Okay, here's a discussion of antenna height. Pretty good details. There's diagrams, lots of information. And that's just one link. Let's go back. Oh, what else we got here? Okay, major antenna pages. So these are big, uh, these are pages that have lots of information, it's not just one specific thing. There's DX Zone, I use that a lot. There's all kinds of articles on antenna, antennas on DX Zone. So it's a link to a link which has links to links. <laughs> uh, let's just, let's click, click on one here. Here's the G5RV. And then here's a whole bunch of web pages, articles about G5 RV. Look at this. It goes on and on and on. I mean, this is, it just blows your mind what you can find on the internet. So let's see if I can find my way back. Okay, yeah, here we are. Okay. So the next section General antenna pages alphabetically are by band. Again, more information. Um, there's one I looked at before. So he's got stuff in various categories. So he's got some duplication. Here's an all band wire antenna. That sounds familiar. Yep. I think I just did uh, a video on this particular web page. Maybe I didn't, but I looked at it, I know. I don't know if I did a video on it. Oh boy, let's go down here and see what else we can find. Dipole antenna, center feed, half wave dipoles. Nice illustration. Okay, let's see what the illustration looks like. Uh oh. Gone. Yep. Yep. That happens. Sometimes uh, web pages disappear. Here's my G5 RV again. See what that one looks like. Whoa. Pretty highly technical information here. Way beyond me. I skipped that one. 
J pole. A J pole is a very simple antenna you can build. Usually they're pretty good for VHF. Not typically too good for HF, maybe six meters if you want to call that HF, which it's really not. Because um, they get really long. Oh, this is a double RL publication. Yeah, I don't see anything great there. Yep, skip that. Okay, what else we got? Mobile antennas. Here's a whole section just on mobile antennas. Well, actually, it's a mixture here because here's a sloper antenna. I know that's not mobile. Uh, no, another ARRL. ARRL is. Unfortunately, some of those links change on you when you don't realize it. Here's vertical antennas, Y radials. A must read. Hmm. The X Engineering. Mm, more information. See what we got. Okay, now it's broken down by bands. 160 meter band antennas, 80 meters, 40, 60, 30, on down. Tri-banders and multi-banders. Uh, there's G5RV again. It's a multi-bander. Six meter antennas. I've always wanted to get on six meters and just, I even got a six meter Yagi and just haven't taken the time to do that. Of course, you need a amateur radio license to transmit on six meters. Here's stealth antennas for those people living in apartments or areas where you're not allowed to have antennas. Here's some articles on setting up a stealth antenna. Commercial antennas used for stealth. Buddy pole, I've heard of that. MFJ, we, of course we know about MFJ. Let's see if this link is still good. Yep, still good. It's the wrong page, but takes you to MFJ. MFJ has a lot of antennas. Now we have some of my favorite antenna books. Uh, AWR L antenna book, I'm familiar with that. Simple low cost wire antennas, I did a review of that I believe. Practical antenna handbook by Joseph Carr, I believe I did a review of that. And that's it. So all this is just links to other web pages about antennas. See how long this list is? Man, it's just, you could spend hours and hours going through all these links. So anyway, just wanted to point that out to you. If you find a particular link in uh, on this web page that um, you think is of interest to everyone, just shoot me uh, an email or leave me a comment. And... Uh, We'll try to do a show on it. So that's the show for today. Um, thanks for watching. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Finally, it looks like YouTube has gotten their subscription notifications fixed. I was getting a lot of false notifications in that there were people that had subscribed a year ago. So it wasn't really a new subscriber. So my subscriber number didn't go up. Well, this past week, my subscriber number has been going up. All my notif not all, but most of the notifications have been new subscribers. And I appreci er appreciate everyone that has subscribed. If you haven't, please do. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. And if you could take the time to share this video... Down there below the video, there's a share button, and you can share it on um, Google+. Plus. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter. That helps expand the people, the audience, uh, of people who know about my show. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.